All right, this is a step response of an RC circuit with some interesting little tricks in it. So first the circuit here, 20 kilo ohms, 60 kilo, kilo ohms. The cap is here. It's a 0 0.25 microfarad cap and it's connected to a switch to the left hand side of the circuit. So at T equals zero the switch is thrown but this thing will reach an equilibrium state at minus infinity and then you throw the switch and it'll reach it'll be connected to the right hand side of the circuit and it'll reach a new equilibrium state at the right hand side having trouble with my K's and my ohms here. Forty kilo ohm. So this signal, there's a signal V0, which is the voltage across the cap, which we can use our, we can find our, with our general solution. Then when the switch is thrown, this uh, cap will reach a new equilibrium. And we use, so we use the equilibrium on the left, we use the equilibrium on the right, and um, we use the time constant to find our general solution for V0. And then to make this problem a little bit trickier, they're, what they're actually asking for is the voltage across the 160 kilo ohm capacitor. Uh, resistor, 160 ohm, 160 kilo ohm resistor. So that's what they're asking us to find is VA of T for all T. So first thing we do is draw the circuit at T equals minus infinity. So at that point, the cap has been connected to the uh, to the left hand side for a long time and it's behaving as if it were an open circuit. So you could just use voltage division. So V0 at zero minus, and for a cap, that's gonna be the same as V zero at zero plus, that is there will not be a step change. So um, by voltage division, this is gonna be um, 40 volts, there's a 20, 20 segment and a 60 segment, so 20 plus 60, and we want the voltage in the 60 segment, which is gonna be 30 volts. Okay, that's the um, that's V zero, the initial voltage. Then we we solve the circuit at T equals um, zero. The point of this is to find R equivalent, so that we can find tau. So at T equals zero, the cap. is back, that is it has a time dependent signal, so we can't just use an open circuit anymore. So the um, To find R equivalent, you're really using the R Thevenin methods. So if I called this A B, we're um, we're using the open open eyes short V's to find to find R equivalent. 
So, I mean, I could redraw it. So here's A, B, there's an 8. There's a, there's a 160. There's a 40. And we'll sh short this voltage source here. And so, uh, you know, our, our equivalent is going to be, there's a f um, 40 in parallel with, with 160, and then that's in series with an 8, right? So this is going to be 40 kilo ohms. So we can find tau now. So tau is RC. It's 40 times 10 to the minus 3, or f 40 kilo ohms times a 0.25 times 10 to the minus 6. 40 or 0.25 microfarad it's going to be 10 milliseconds so we need to solve the, the uh, circuit at t equals positive infinity so at that at that state the cap acts like once again an open circuit and some interesting things happen this this guy's here, and this guy's here, and this guy's here. This guy here, the 8K kind of goes away, because at positive infinity, the capacitor is acting like an open circuit, which, which means that there is no current across or through this resistor and if there's no current through the resistor then there's no voltage drop so no current no voltage drop it's it's like it's not there it's behaving like a wire with with no current in it and uh so we can get the um this is v0 here with this polarity so if we did voltage division of this 75 um volt source it would produce a polarity this way because the way this uh, you know the current's going to be coming out of here and, and dropping across this guy which is opposite our reference v0 voltage so we need to throw in a minus sign so v sub final is going to be negative because of this this polarity difference right here so X sub final, we're just doing voltage division. But we got to keep track of this extra minus sign. It's going to be 75 volts. There's a 160 branch and a 40 branch, and we want the 160 branch. So it's going to be minus 60 volts. So our, okay, so our, that was our three cases. We saw that T equals minus infinity to get the steady state 30 volts. We saw that T equals zero to get R equivalent, and that's similar to finding the Thevenin re equivalent resistance. We use that to find the time constant. And then we solve at positive infinity to get the uh, steady state voltage. Now we can plug in our, our general solution, which is going to be um, V0 of T is going to be um, minus 60. This is... Well, it's x, sub, so it's x sub f plus, you know, 30, which is x sub 0, minus x sub f again, e to the minus 10 milliseconds inverse is going to be 100 t. So cleaning this up a little bit, it's going to be minus 60 plus 90 e to the minus 100 t volts for t greater than or equal to 0. This is v sub 0 of t. That's our, well, that's not an answer, but it's something we, it's not our final answer, but it's something we need because, uh, we're, yeah, we're trying to find v a of t, the guy over here. Mm. 
But we do have v0 of t, and let me just graph it here just to, before we move on a little bit. So there's v0. So v0 starts out at 30 volts, and it goes down to minus 60. It's asymptotic to minus 60. It looks like that. All right. So we need to find VA of T now. So so we want to um, look at what's happening to V sub A before the switch is thrown, right? Because um, so um, this is the right side at t equals minus infinity. Like before, we did the uh, we did the left side at t equals minus infinity, but there is a initial voltage in here at t equals minus infinity, and they're asking us to find VA of t for all time. So we need to draw just the right side of this thing. So um, here's the 160. There's a 40K. There's this guy, the 75 volt thing. Okay, then this is V sub A plus minus. Okay, there's up to the cap. Cap is over here. Not doing anything. But this resistor, the eight the eight kilo kilo ohm resistor has no effect on the circuit because you know the switch is the switch is this way. This 8K, this was the 8K. He's kind of not he's not affecting the circuit because there's no current through him. So um so VA at zero minus is gonna be well, so now we have a minus sign creeping in because our reference polarity is V for VA is plus minus, but the current's gonna come out of here and generate this polarity, which is opposite. So we gotta throw in a negative sign. So it's this is voltage division with uh, this adjustment for the actual polarity that's generated by this source adjusting for our uh, reference polarity V sub A. That's where this negative sign comes from. So it's 75, 160 plus 40 over 160. It's going to have minus 60 volts in it initially. Then we, um, what happens when we throw the switch, right? So now the circuit at um, T greater than or equal to zero, what happens? So now, you know, we throw the switch. So we've taken this thing here and basically put the capacitor into the circuit. So the eight guy is gonna have an effect. And this is VA. So the we're trying to solve for VA as a function of time. We can use node voltage to get VA of T. So this this will be our ground node. This will be VA, this node, because we're rising from zero ground up to VA. Here we're rising from zero ground, we're rising up to V0. So our 
Node voltage is the uh, we're summing currents in and out of nodes, so we need uh, we'll use in as negative and out as positive, and we'll sum all the we'll sum all the i's at 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 node a. So I um, I have to guess on some current directions. I'm going to guess that away. I'm going to guess this away because I would expect the current to be going kind of, you know, that away uh, out of the bottom of this thing. Then uh, total guess here. Let's just guess down. And then we'll come up with expressions for these. So this is 75 volts at this node rising from zero. No, it's negative 75, rising from zero volts, falling, falling from zero volts. You know, plus to minus is a fall, so this is minus 75. So this this thing here is V sub A minus a negative 75. Because in order for the current to be going to the right here, V sub A must be bigger than minus 75, so it's V sub A minus minus 75 over the resistance. This guy here is V sub 0 minus V sub A over 8, and this guy here is just V sub A over 160. And this one's in, so it's negative. These two are out, so they're positive. So the node voltage equation is going to be negative V sub 0 minus V sub A over 8. That's the first. That's this guy coming in here. And then this guy coming down is VA over 60, 160. This guy going out to the right is out, so it's positive. It's going to be quantity VA minus negative 75 over 40. Those sum to 0. So, you know, we know V0 of T. So solve, solve for VA. And then we can plug in V0 of T. So um, you can take this top, I'm trying to isolate VA. So multiply times 160 to get to isolate this VA here, you're going to you're going to get um, and 160 over 8 is 20. You're going to get 20 VA minus 20 V zero from this first thing plus VA plus 160 here would be um, before VA. And then the 75 times 160, and then divide by 40 is going to give you 300. Positive, the negatives cancel, give you a positive. It's this, so I can collect the, the the VAs. I have 25 of those guys, and I can move my 20 V0 over the other side and move the 300 over to the other side and then divide by 25 you get 0 0.8 and V sub 0 minus 12 and then plug in V sub 0 of T so V sub A of T is going to be 0 0.8 and then V sub 0 it's way over here it's minus 60 plus 90 to the minus 100 T minus 12. So cleaning this up, it's minus 60 plus 72 e to the minus 100 T volts for T greater than or equal to zero. This is our VA of T, that's the answer. And just to graph VA of T, I want you to graph all of these time domain signals. So here's V of A. It, um, at zero, this is um, it's 
going to be 12 because it's 72 minus 60, maybe 12. And then at infinity, this becomes, um, this term becomes zero, decays down to minus 60. But before the switch is thrown, this guy is doing something. You know, before we throw the cap in there, this guy has a steady state signal that we solve for. When we throw the cap in there, we get this exponential k decay, this thing, from zero. But before we've thrown the switch, this guy had minus 60 volts in him, so, so it's like that. It's at minus 60, and then it jumps. Polarity reverses, and it goes to 12, and then it decays back down to its steady state, which happens to be 60 again for this circuit, circuit configuration. So that's that problem. Hope you enjoyed that.